As we head toward the end of 2021, it's a good time to look back over some of the most remarkable artifact and treasure discoveries of the year. In fact, while we're at it, we might as well look back over the most remarkable treasure and artifact discoveries of the last few years. We're living in a golden era for discoveries of this kind, and the proof of that is in this video. Fifteen years ago, a family in Suffolk, England, purchased a pair of Egyptian Sphinx-style garden ornaments from a country house sale in Cambridgeshire. They spent £300 on the ornaments and then took them home to be left out in the garden, where they were exposed to the wind and rain until the start of September 2021, when they took them to an auction house. The family was moving homes, and they wanted to sell anything they couldn't take with them. They thought the Sphinx statues were 19th century replicas and might fetch up to a thousand pounds at auction if they were lucky. During the 15 years they'd stood in the garden, they'd been covered in moss, repaired with modern cement, and then cemented to the patio to prevent them from being stolen. Even with all that damage, the auctioneer told them that their tatty statues might be worth up to a quarter of a million pounds. The reason? These are no replicas. They're the real thing, and they're 5,000 years old. Nobody knows why they weren't recognized for what they were 15 years ago, but the most recent owners don't need to care about that. They eventually sold their garden ornaments for £241,800. While we're in the British Isles, let's check out another fortuitous find. This pretty dish is known as a myolica, and the scene painted from it is taken from the tale of Samson and Delilah. It was found in the back of a drawer when the contents of La Wood House, a country home in the Scottish borders, were being prepared for sale in August 2021. Experts were able to identify the piece as the work of Italian artist Nicola da Urbino, which means it was painted during the 16th century. They expected it to make around £120,000 at auction. Imagine their surprise when it went on to sell for 10 times that amount. The winning bid of 1.2 million pounds, roughly equivalent to 1.7 million dollars, came from an anonymous buyer on the internet. The staggering figure is a world record for a Maiolica piece. The family of the home's owner has no idea how such a valuable artifact ended up in the back of a drawer, because there were plenty of decorative plates on display inside the country home. It's just that this wasn't one of them. The auctioneers who handled the sale say that the price might have been inflated because it's been years since a piece like this has reached the open market, so this record may never be broken. John Cross was something of an eccentric soul. He lived in a caravan close to Canterbury in England and spent most of his life collecting old coins. When he passed away in early 2021, aged 72, almost nobody knew about the secret coin collection hidden in his mobile home. When it was eventually found, British coin experts said it was the most important collection of its kind ever to be assembled outside the confines of a museum. John had only 80 coins, but almost all of them are incredibly rare. One is a gold shilling minted 1,400 years ago, which is worth up to 12,000 pounds on its own. Another is a silver penny that was stamped with the face of King Harold II shortly before he met his doom in the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Even that isn't the prize of the collection, because John also had a gold Thrisma shilling that was minted somewhere between the year 640 and 660 in York, and that coin turned out to be worth 17,500 pounds. Mr. Cross stated in his will that he wanted the proceeds of any auction sales to be donated to a group called the Friends of Kent Churches. We are sure they were delighted when the whole coin collection fetched £185,000. In April 2021, construction workers in Eibersdorf, Austria, began digging out an area of land in preparation for laying a new railway line. In the process of that work, they came across an artifact that's thought to be unique in Austrian history. It's this solid gold bowl, badly broken and warped, but bearing a very unusual solar motif. Professional archaeologists were immediately summoned to the scene, and they confirmed that this is a lost relic from 3,000 years ago. A full archaeological excavation of the site was ordered. That turned up the remains of a settlement founded by people from the Urnfield culture during the Bronze Age, 
made up of pile dwellings on stilts arranged in a circular formation around a larger building in the center. A closer examination of the bowl revealed it to contain two tiny scraps of a fabric thought to be leather with gold thread stitching. More than 500 other artifacts were discovered in the immediate vicinity of the bowl, most of which were weapons like daggers and knives. The grouping of the objects has led some archaeologists to believe that the artifacts may have been left as votive offerings. Ancient tombs are discovered quite regularly in Turkey, but finding 400 of them at once is unheard of. Nevertheless, that's exactly what happened in 2021, when an enormous cluster of stone-cut chamber tombs full of burial goods and elaborate wall paintings was found in a canyon wall close to the ancient city of Blondos. Archaeologists at the scene say that the tiny tombs were hand-carved into the rock about 1,800 years ago. Upon opening the sarcophagi inside the tombs, archaeologists found that most of them contained more than one individual. That implies that these are family tombs, with individuals from the same families being entombed in the same place for generations. This discovery is part of an ongoing excavation at Blaundos, which so far has turned up two temples, the city's public baths, a basilica, a gymnasium, a theater, and the remains of the city's walls, gate, and aqueduct. The city's existence has been known for more than 150 years, but this is the first detailed archaeological survey ever to be carried out there. We suppose it's better late than never. There was a coin discovery to celebrate the city of Sarja, UAE in September 2021, when a team from the Sarja Archaeology Authority came across a collection of 1,000-year-old Islamic coins. The silver Durham coins come from a variety of places, including Al Rai, Morocco, Persia, Armenia, and Khorasan, but they appear to have been collected and buried deliberately in an Abbasid-style ceramic pot. The pot, like the coins, can be dated to the 10th century. Aside from being valuable as a coin collection, the discovery means that the long-suspected presence of the Abbasid dynasty in the region at this point in history can now be proven. The faces of five prominent Muslim leaders of the period are stamped on the coins, including Harun al-Rashid, Muhammad al-Amin, and Abi Jafar al-Mansur. The fact that the coins must have traveled along several different trade routes to end up in Sharjah 1,000 years ago reinforces the idea that this must have been an important trading center for the region at that time. The finding of the coins was considered such a big deal in Sharjah that the ruler of Sharjah, Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Muhammad al Qasimi, came to the offices of the Sharjah Archaeology Authority to inspect them in person. Most antique dealers make money by finding old things and then turning them into cash. Sometimes it's possible to cut out the middleman by simply discovering cash. That was the headline in 2018 when a load of old banknotes turned up under the floorboards of a house in Brighton, England. The banknotes immediately attracted attention because they were tinted blue, which indicates they were printed as emergency currency during the Second World War. Their face value amounts to 30,000 pounds, but if you adjust for inflation since 1940, the equivalent value in 2021 is in excess of 1.7 million. The money was probably stashed because the owners of the property feared losing all their valuables in the event of a Nazi land invasion of the area. It's odd that they never reopened the floorboards and came back for it, because the property belonged to London-based Taylor Bradley's in 1936 and remained in the company's hands until 1973. Someone must surely have known the money was there. The connection to the tailor ensured that this story made the mainstream news in the United Kingdom because they were a personal favorite of Britain's wartime leader, Winston Churchill. If you have a Netflix account, you might have seen the British sitcom The Detectorists. It's a story about two men and their metal detectors, constantly scouring the English countryside in search of a fortune. The show inspired Gordon Graham to buy a metal detector and take up the hobby in the fields around his home on the Isle of Man. And he struck gold almost immediately. In December 2018, his efforts unearthed this amazing 600-year-old solid silver ring, delicately engraved with geometric shapes. 
According to expert Allison Fox, who's a senior curator of archaeology for Manx National Heritage, the ring dates back to the time when the very first laws were written on the Isle of Man in the early 1400s. That came after the end of Viking rule in 1266, which was followed by 100 years of effective anarchy as ownership of the island switched between England and Scotland repeatedly. Present-day Manx laws say that fines of this nature have to be reported to the Manx Museum immediately, which Gordon did. As no owner could be traced, the artifact is now on display inside the museum, and Gordon has been paid an undisclosed finder's fee. Back in the days before money was digital and banks were trusted to keep hold of valuables, the rich kept their wealth inside their castles and mansions. Here's a perfect example of that which came to light in September 2021. This fine collection of 239 gold coins, all of which were minted before the French Revolution of 1789, was discovered hidden within the walls of a mansion in Quimper, Western Brittany, France. The discovery was made by stonemasons, who'd been hired to renovate the aging property. The rarest coin among the collection was a double Louis d'Or stamped with the face of King Louis XV and minted in 1646. That sold for 46,000 euros on its own when the coins were sent to auction, with the same price achieved for a slightly older Louis d'Or minted six years earlier and bearing the mark of the Templar's cross. The total amount raised by the sale of the entire collection was just over 1 million euros, equivalent to 1.2 million dollars. The property's current owners kindly agreed to share the value of their unexpected windfall with the stonemasons who found the coins. There are so many ancient ruins in Egypt that you could easily come to believe that any building that's erected there is allowed to remain standing forever. Obviously, that's not really the case. Even palaces aren't immune to demolition, and in August 2021, the 120-year-old Taufik Andraus Palace in Luxor was torn down. Archaeologists were then invited to the scene to search through the area beneath the former palace's foundations, and they weren't disappointed. Within hours of the start of the excavation, the team found a collection of stamps, amphorae, and other artifacts that are thought to date back to the time of the Byzantine era. That was just the beginning of the story. As the days and weeks went by, archaeologists found the remains of an ancient Roman wall, a collection of Roman-era bronze coins, and figurines and icons spanning thousands of years. It's almost as if the palace had been built on top of an Aladdin's cave of treasures. The demolition of the palace didn't come without controversy, but it had been abandoned after the last of the Andraus family left it in 2013 and had rotted to the point where it was deemed to be a hazard to both the Luxor temple next door to it and to any pedestrians walking past it. The USA's Declaration of Independence was very famously signed in Philadelphia in 1776. Very few signers' copies of the original declaration still exist today. In fact, there are only six. You'd have thought that the value of the documents to the history of America would mean that all six copies are in museums in the USA, but that isn't the case. In early 2021, a copy was found in the attic of a mansion in Scotland. Prior to its discovery, it had been missing and considered lost for over 170 years. The document was presented to Charles Carroll, one of the founding fathers in 1824. He had a Scottish grandson named John McTavish, to whom he's assumed to have left the artifact in his will. McTavish returned to Scotland after Carroll died in 1832 and must have taken the Declaration of Independence with him. The person who found the document is a living descendant of Carroll and McTavish, but wishes to remain anonymous. They did, however, choose to cash in on the discovery and sold it to an American buyer for an amazing $4.42 million. That's four times more than any copy of the Declaration of Independence has ever sold for before. We've been to the Isle of Man for a discovery that came from after the end of the Viking era. So let's go back there for another discovery from within it. This find has been described as a piggy bank of Viking era coins and silver goods, 
and was found in a field in the north of the tiny island in July 2021. The discovery was made by former police officer and amateur metal detectorist Kath Giles, who took the artifacts to the Manx Museum. They were assessed by experts there and determined to be approximately 1,000 years old. 87 of the objects Kath found are coins. Some were minted locally in the Isle of Man, but others come from England, Ireland, and Germany. The most recent of the coins were minted in 1035, with some of the older examples more likely to come from the 10th century. The coins were accompanied by 13 broken pieces of silver arm rings. This type of scrap silver was also used as currency during the Viking Age, mostly among poorer people who didn't have coins. It's probable that the silver was buried on purpose, with the collection added to over time. In other words, this is probably a Viking's life savings. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.